a drive-by shooting in Hackney which left a nine-year-old girl critically injured has been described as reckless by the Metropolitan Police. Shots were fired from someone on a stolen motorcycle towards a restaurant on Kingsland High Street, Dalston, on Wednesday evening. The girl, an innocent victim who was having dinner with her family inside, was shot along with three men sitting outside. Two of the men remain in hospital. In a new statement, the Met said the attack had an element of pre-planning and reached out to East London's Turkish and Kurdish communities for information, then the men had connections to them. One of the two men has life-changing injuries, Detective Chief Superintendent James Conway said. Addressing the girl's condition, he told reporters, We remain in close contact with our colleagues in the NHS, who have worked around the clock to provide urgent care to the victims, including the young girl, who I'm very sad to say remains in a critical condition. He said specialist family liaison officers were supporting the girl's family. He also added we are specifically reaching out to our Turkish and Kurdish communities, particularly in North and East London, who I know are shocked and appalled by this crime. This is because the three men who were shot have connections to those communities. Given the details of the motorbike used in the attack, he said, we know that the offender fired from a motorbike at approximately 9.20pm on Wednesday evening. The bike was a Ducati monster with a white body, red chassis and red wheels. He said the motorbike had been stolen from a property in Wembley in 2021. At the time of the shooting, the bike was displaying the registration plate DP21 or XY, he said. I want to hear from anyone who might recognise it. I'm particularly keen to hear from you if you saw it on the day of the incident. He added gun crime has no place on the streets of London and this reckless act has left a young girl fighting for her life. Erin Meto, chief executive of the Turkish Cypriot Association, spoke alongside the police at Friday's press conference. He said his community was shocked by the incident and encouraged anyone with information to contact the police. We as a community stand against violence and gun crime, he added. Please like this video, please comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my crime channel. Thank you.